Hey guys, Stu from Stuart Scale Models, and uh, I noticed, um, well, whilst I was watching my subs on the YouTube channel yesterday, um, three guys, three of the guys from Over the Pond, that's Dirk Pitt, uh, Transition Modeler, and Papa Dan, were just going through their stashes uh, because somebody had asked them, What's in your stash? So, or show me your stash. So, I thought I'd, th you know, throw my hat in the ring. Now, I know I've done this before, um, maybe six months ago or so, but my stash has actually gone down quite considerably since then. A lot of it I've sold on, because I know I'm never going to get around to building them, and it's also been a case of space issues. So, reluctantly, I've had to let get go of some real nice beauties that I was hanging on to. Uh, a few of my tigers have gone as well, unfortunately. Uh, but hey-ho, the needs must sometimes, guys, you know. Um, well, we all do. We all get carried away when we buy kits, so I'm having to cut back, to be honest with you. Um, so, without further ado, what I will do, I'm not going to get all of them out of their boxes because I've just tried doing a video previously and it, I don't I haven't even got halfway through my stash and it was 19 minutes into the video. And I'd rather do this all in one fell hit. So, if you don't see all the models, I'm sorry guys, I've just got to restrict it. Um, I'll try and remember what's in the boxes, but I can't offhand. Uh, so you'll have to bear with me. So excuse the shaky camera. I'm having to hand hold it this time instead of using the tripod um, As you can obviously understand so Underneath the Burke bench is Some of my stash as you can see there all neatly packed Now uh, what I did uh, recently was separate my aircraft from my armor so um, I've got all my armor kits underneath my bench well, say all armour, there's a Millennium Falcon. <laughs> he says famous last words. Um, so without further ado, we'll have a little look through what I've got. Okay. So, you'll have to forgive me. I've had to take my T-shirt off because it is boiling in here. Um, it's been a very, very hot weekend. Um, and last week was very heavy, obviously, with the preparation for the new store. So, uh <sighs> And uh, they did ask me to work over the weekend, but unfortunately there was things outside of work that I couldn't get out of, so, you know, um, needs must, as it were. Um, and, you know, you've got to keep an equal balance in work life, as it were, okay? Anyway, as I said, without further ado, we go through what's in my stash. Or, show me your stash. Right, okay, first off... Um, one of the Star Wars kits I recently got in was, um, in fact I might pull some of these out, um, from the first of the prequel Star Wars films, which is the Naboo Fighter, uh, that one there. Not a bad level of detail on it, it is quite tiny though, and pokey, I must admit, it's in, I think, 1-109th scale. And then I also got, to go along with it, uh, from the second prequel film, is the Clone Fighter. As you can see there, that's quite a nice level of detail on that as well. And then obviously I've got my figures, which I'm using for my Tiger Group build. Adam's Tiger Group build. So uh, that's, I've, I've pinched a couple of figures out of that. And this is one I got on eBay recently. Because um, obviously the Linden is now defunct. So snap them up guys while you can. Uh, because soon they're never going to go to ridiculous prices. This is a 148th Luftwaffe service platform, uh, which I might do with one of my aircraft, possibly next year or sometime in the future, but beautiful level of detail on it. Then we've got the Tacom King Tiger with a Porsche turret um, with the full interior, and that is absolutely gorgeous. That is going to be a monster build. I think Andy at Hobby Headquarters just recently built one. Yeah, I did end up doing it in two parts, so um, I did have the Henschel one, but I sold that one on. And then, obviously, down here we've got a paper panzer from the world of tanks. Uh, I think it's distributed by Amusing Hobby as well. Uh, is the Panzer 7 um, Low, uh, which possibly would have been a replacement for the King Tiger. 
Then I've got Dragons 6493 Jagged Tiger with Zim, and that is an awesome looking kit. And then above that, I've got 6232, which is a King Tiger late production, obviously in the Henshaw turret, Arden 1944. Um, that's got all the goodies in it, beautiful kit. And then I've got my brother's, which is the Konigsberg Tiger um, from Tamiya. Um, which I've got some extras for. Above that, I've got another King Tiger, which is again another Porsche turret one, which is 6302 with the Zimmerit. Okay, now I'm going to pull them forward a bit so you can see what's behind it. Uh, so I'm not going to pull everything out because it's just going to take too much time and I will run out of video. So let's just pull that one out to get the low out. Okay, right. Now inside here, as you can see, I've got Tamiya's BT7. And then below that, uh, although you can't see it very well, is the ICM T3475 43 production. Then beneath that, another successor to that was the T72. That's the old Tamiya kit. Now I have also got an extra metal barrel for that as well. Then below that, I've got Trumpeter's Chally 2 with MBT with, from the Gold, Second Gulf War with all the protective very directive armour. Then I've got the Cowshot AFV Club Centurion. And this one's a very rare one to get hold of now. It's Dragon's M1A2 SEP uh, with all the goodies as well. And believe it or not, I actually snapped that up at a model show. I think a pricey sum of about 25 quid. Yeah, I did very well on that one. Then up here, more tigers. Uh, well, in the other one, we've got the Pack 38 with the. Hang on, let me pull it out. You can see a bit better. This one here, which is the Pack 5 centimeter Pack 38 with four Shimyaga. So uh, that would make it for a very nice little vignette. Okay, and then we've got Dragons Tiger 1 early production uh, Vitman Command Tiger. Although that wasn't his Tiger, actually, it was his, um, I think, his Battalion Commander's Tiger they used for the photo call. This was S21, although that was S04, and that's 6730. Below that, another real rare one to get hold of, and I'm very, very lucky to snap it up at £65, um, was the Otto Carrius Tiger 1 mid-production, 6763. And it has got moulded on in zip. Uh, zip. What am I on about? Zim. And that was for the Battle of uh, Malinova, or Malinovka. Um, which I'm yet to read about in Tigers in the Mud. Um... As I say, that one is very hard to get hold of now, and you'd be paying exorbitant prices. I was just very lucky I had a modeler who was just selling it off at an easy price. Then below that, I've got Dragon's Bergpanzer Tiger 1, which is an awesome looking kit, 6850. Another rare one, uh, which is Alfred Kurtzmoor's Tiger 1, although they did do also bring out a King Tiger of his, which unfortunately... You can't get hold of anymore. So the other wild well, den tiger is going to be king tiger is going to be a substitute. Now this one here, six two five three, is the original release, and I got that at a very very good rate again of sixty five pounds, and it does come with all the goodies, okay, including Vitman's Knights Cross. Down belief that is the FE Club Sturm Tiger. And then I've got the Ryefield Fairman Tiger, okay. And then another very rare one. And again, I had a model who was selling it off at a very cheap rate. Um, is Vitman's early production um, Tiger One We're at the Battle of Kursk. And then above that, I've got the Ryefield Tiger One with full interior from the oh, oh god, what was it? Uh, 503rd Battalion, Eastern Front, 43. Uh, above that, 6465 Elephant with Zimmerit, which I think was the improved version of the one that's above it. 
which is the Ferdinand, and that's 6133. And then above that, I've got the Tiger P, 6352. And then I've got the initial uh, Tiger 1, 6608 DAC version. Above that, I've got Welcome Aboard the TARDIS, which is my one of my favourite doctors, David Tennant. And then he's got his assistant. I've forgotten the name. Oh, well, never mind. And then above that, I've got the box of me, the one. Okay. Right, next. Oh, bring out my drill. That's that one there. I've uh, got a couple of fog model sets, which you've got just there. And then some type. I've got Dragon's Tiger Races, which you can see there for the Normandy campaign. Um, and then at the front here, if I get them out one by one. So I'll put the other tigers back and bear with me. I'm going to run out of space. go back <laughs> brilliant um oh hang on right how long are we running 11 minutes okay right i'm gonna have to hurry up right uh set of icm figures german staff personnel and then i've got dragons panzer grenadier division gross Deutschland, karachev 1943 Set I'm using for my Dio for the Tiger One Group build, Cold Wind. And this particular set which I recently got in is World War One US Medical Personnel from ICM. And from Ming I've got the FT-17 Light Tank Crew and Orderly. I haven't had a look at them yet. And then I've got the ICM Model T 1917 American Ambulance. And that is a super little kit. Very beautiful detail on that. Also Meng's FT-17. And this little beauty, which I might get around to building around about Christmas time, in time for the new Star Wars film, is the Millennium Falcon from The Force Awakens. And I've got the lighting kit for that as well. Right. Next up, US Infantry uh, 1917 from ICM. Uh, in Master Boxes, Rommel and German Tank Crew, which is going to be for future vignette. Uh, Master Boxes, German Military Car Touring Wagon, World War II. Hobby Boss uh, 38T, Else B. The Old Vulnerable Path A from Tamiya. And this one, of which I might do for a diorama sometime in the future, is Rommel's Mammoth DAC AEC Armored Command Car. That's a beauty of the kit. And this is one I won from Jurgen. Um, on his thousand pound, well, thousand subscriber giveaway um, at JD uh, Modding, I think. Is it JD Modding? Well, I can't remember. Sorry, I've forgotten. If I got it wrong, Jurgen, my apologies. Which is a Topol SS25 sickle uh, with a, a launch controller. And then this one I got from Steve Mottram, who was selling off his stash a year ago, which is the Pershing Lake production. And then at the back here, I've got the E100, and Vipman's Stug. I've forgotten what that one is. Hang on. Which one is that? Sherman Firefly. That's uh, 5C. I've got the Panther D from Dragon with Zim. And what's this one? Oh, that's a Flak 88 uh, with the artillery, uh, artillery crew as well. That is going to be an awesome build, that is, I tell you. Right, I'm not going to open this box up because it's going to take too much time up, but there's a lot more kits in that, but I'll maybe show that at a future time. But it's more armour in there and more figures. Uh, that I do know what they are. <laughs> I can't remember. Sorry. Um, I'm just going to put these all back. 
he says. Hopefully he's got it in the right order. He says. Right. He'll be over with me. I think I've got it all back in the right order. I don't know. Oh, it's incredibly hot today. Um, oh well, I'll sort it out after the video. Right, let's put this all back here for a minute. Damn it. Right. Okay, I'm getting into too much of a hog there. Right, at the back here, I don't know if you can see it, uh, we've got the... This is my Bandai Star Wars collection. A uh, pack of droid and a... and Stap. Then below that, we've got the... Advanced TIE Fighter of uh, Darth Vader's, the Force Awakens TIE Fighter, R2-D2 and R5-D4, Darth Vader, K2SO from the uh, Rogue One, Boba Fett, which I must admit I'm looking forward to building at some stage. And then at the front here, running down, we've got the Clone Trooper. X-Wing Starfighter from the original Star Wars trilogy. Uh, Y-Wing, which I have to see. I've seen a few builds and they're super. They really are, guys. Um, also, I've got the original Snow Speeder they brought out. Because they brought another one out in 148th, apparently. Uh, retooled, I'm not sure. And then I've got the TIE Interceptor. The only one I haven't got is the TIE Striker at the moment. So that might be another one on my list. Then the original TIE Fighter, and then obviously I've got Slave 1. So that's all my um, oh, Star Wars uh, Bandai collection. So there you go. Right. He says trying to tidy up after himself. Oh, I can be a messy bugger sometimes, I really can. Right, okay, so that's the main bulk of my stash. I've got another box here. Which I dug out from on top of my wardrobe. Um, we've got the Black Dog accessory set, uh, Hessian tape uh, camo net for a Cromwell, which I think I've still got my stash here. That might be in that box there at the bottom, which I think it is. And then I've got the Valinden set for the Fury Sherman. Now that will be used on a build the Shane Smythe's um, group build he's actually got on Sherman's going. Um, I won't be doing that until around about the new year though because obviously I want to get all my other builds finished first. Okay then I've got what's left of the main workable track links for the Leopard and I will never touch them again because they are an absolute bloody nightmare to put together. Never again. Right, and then I've got a set of Tamiya uh, machine gun crew. Uh, they're not bad actually, considering how old they are. Um, then I've got the Valinden interior set for 6253, which I've just shown you. Um, which I'm going to uh, base as Vipman's last king tiger. Well, last tiger. Then I've got the Valinden uh, Maybach engine set for a Tiger 1. Next up, Master Box uh, US Modern Tank Crew and scan. Can we buy some of your sheep for a barbecue set? So, level of detail on that is beautiful, guys. Right, running down here, this is a special edition Spitfire, which Airfix did, of Douglas Barders. And then I've got the US Tank Destroy M10 mid production, which I won on Live at the Bench on the very first show. Uh, this is a recent acquisition, which is the ICM I-16. Um, I just like it for this particular colour scheme. Really nice. Mini bar, mini mini art German tank crew, France, 1944. And then I've got the little KFZ-222. Uh, that comes with the H-Brass grill set for the uh, cover. I uh, might do that as Ditton's first vehicle. I won't find any reference material. And then the old venerable Tamiya US Woolies Jeep, which you can see there. Um, 
British six pound anti tank gun. My mind Pete was on the 25 pounders. Uh, also, we've got the jerry can set from Tamiya. Another set from um, Mini Craft German tank crew at rest. Uh, Flak artillery crew 4345 from Dragon. And. Yep, German Ace Tank Crew set, 4445. Winter Panzer Riders, which is an alternate set I did think of using for my Tiger. Uh, Soviet Medical Personnel from ICM. Uh, Bundeswehr Tank Crew, 1990 to 2000. They're beautiful, they really are. And this is one figure I actually bought at Telford of Montgomery and his Grant Tank Cupola. Um, I think it's made by Gordon Miniatures. Um, so, yep, yeah, and not only that, but I also bought British Airborne Sniper 1944, um, which I think is around about the Arnhem period. That's 1 9th scale, and it does look gorgeous. It is really gorgeous. The detail on it is superb. And then I've got the Linden tank crew set, US tankers. Okay, so that's all that's in that box. And I'm just going to put them all back in, guys. Now we're running 21 minutes. God, I ain't got much time left. Right. So that's that. Now. Over here are some of more of my figures, which you can see I've got loads of mini art sets, Battle of the Bulge, US Tank Crew in combat, uh, 101st Airborne Division, German Tank Crew, March 1944, Infantry Set, SAS Regiment, which can go with my Tenere Jeep, uh, I've got that in one of the boxes, British Infantry, um, World War One, and this one's going to be a lovely one to build. That one there, British Airborne Arnhem, 1944. Um, I've got an Alpine miniature set here. Have a drink crew set. I'm not going to get them out because otherwise they get lost. Um, that I can't remember. Sorry, guys. Legend production miniature set, which is a Vipman. In that well known pose on 007. Uh, this is one I think Phyllis Barcelona's did for his entry into the. Oh, what was it? Say Cheese Group Bill. So, yeah, that's a nice set for that. Uh, German Tank Crew, which I used on my Tigers. Well known generals etc as you can see there and I've got some more master Brox sets okay World War one German etc all oh, these are nice which is what I'm going to use for the Bravo set for the Fury Sherman and I've got the rest of these as well and this one which is going to be very significant for next year because obviously it would have been 25 years since we lost Etten Senna and this is an actual figure of him sitting in the Williams on that day so yeah I've just got to get the Fujimi kit for it and I've got another fog set for a vignette that's that um, dice scat spieler where they're all playing cards master box so that's those box of figures and then finally underneath here as you can see is Vel Wellington Mark II. I've got the Spitfire recently did an inbox review on Halifax Mark I II. Whitley, Airfix Whitley, which is a lovely kit. And this one I've got off of Timothy Ivert's, uh, which is the uh, BF 109G10 Royal class with the glass and actual fragments from the actual aircraft as well. And this is what my brother and his girlfriend bought me, which was the Airfix TSR2, and I've actually been getting the extras for this as well. Okay, 
Um, and then I've got the Edward X1. Um, uh, what's this? Oh, don't want that. <laughs> Um, this is going to be the roof for the uh, CP101 uh, group build. Okay, and I've got the special hobby HE178 and 148th ICM Spitfire Mark 7 Defiant. And then I've got the Freedom Models F20 Tiger Shark, which I bought at Telford. Uh, these are lovely little sets, these um, value gear, beautiful sets. Um, I've got another one sixteenth resin figure of Michael Vittman. Um, Apollo Saturn V, which is redistributed by Ravel. Oh, okay, getting down lower. I'm actually crawling down, I think. Right down here, uh, at the back here, I've got some more fog model sets. Uh, diorama sets. I've got a one forty eighth. ICM RF parts and ground crew set. Got some hobby boss um, extra tire workable track links. I don't know what's in this one? I think this is a resin pillar. I think. Yeah. There we go. A little resin pillar. A North African dyer. Uh, various frills for tigers and a half track, as you can see here. Another. Figure set from Dragon. Near me 262 from Hobby Boss. I've got the P47D bubble top and then the razor back from Tamiya. That was a brother another birthday present from my brother. Hobby Boss BF109 F4. Um, and then I've got the Edward um, Dual Combo Limited Edition Spitfire Mark 14. Um, which was again, and I think it was the Secret Santa present I got last year. Down here, I've also got the Edward um, SE5A, which is a superb kit, and also this is a real rare one now, which is the Edward BF109E1 Profi Pack. So there you go, and then finally, I've got some value gear sets down here as well, which you can see. Okay. So basically, guys, that is what is in my stash. And I've just shown you my entire stash. So that is basically it, guys. I hope you like what you saw. Ugh. And that's nearly got me going for nearly half an hour now. In fact, we're on 28 minutes. So I'm going to finish here, guys. And uh, let you guys enjoy the rest of your bank holiday here in England. And... To all you guys out there, happy modelling. So until the next time, get kick crazy, happy modelling, and I'll speak to you soon.